okay so in this lecture we are going to discuss something about principal ideals so let us write what is meant by a principal ideal so i'm going to take r to be a ring and i'm going to take i is some ideal of that ring and if this i is generated by a single element then i'm going to say that this ideal is a principal ideal okay now what are the elements of this ideal will look like how how do the elements of principal ideal look like so what you can do is you know in in ring you have two types of operation addition and multiplication so you can even take a plus a you can take a plus a plus a you can take a into a also you can take a into a into a a is also there right then uh, it's an ideal so it has additive inverse so minus a is also there it's an ideal so it's a group so it will have zero okay so all such things will be in this particular set so this is the set generated by what single element a let me take one simple example so that the idea will be more clear so let me take a ring say let us take integers and let us take an ideal which is generated by what which is generated by two okay now what is the ideal generated by two is this a principal ideal yes because it is just generated by one single element so what will be the elements of this ideal it will be first of all it will contain all the sums of twos right so it will come contain zero also it will contain two two plus two two plus two plus two which is six right and then it will also contain six plus four because i it is an ideal so it's a group with respect to itself it will contain eight also because two plus two plus two plus two so in that case you understand that it actually if with respect to addition itself you do you will get all the even numbers here itself you get even you don't even have to do 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 2 because those numbers are already written over here right so this means that this ideal is basically nothing but your set 2 z so this is the ideal generated by 2 okay now if you consider any ideal of uh, z if you take any ideal of z we know what is any ideal of z looking like it must be of the type nz we know all the ideals of z are of the form nz this is done in our previous le previous lectures so this means that this nz is actually a ideal which is generated by what which is generated by n and therefore what we are declaring is that any ideal of z is what is actually a principal ideal right because any ideal of z is of the form nz and nz is nothing but generated by what generated by single element n and therefore any ideal of z will become a principal ideal let us take one more example suppose i'm working in the field of polynomials i'm working in polynomial rings so i'm taking the ring to be say rx okay and the ideal that i'm taking is i'm going to take all elements uh, i'm going to take ideal which is generated by what generated by x now can we write some elements of this ideal now what will be some elements of this ideal the elements of this ideal will be first of all zero will be there then x will also be there therefore x plus x will be also there and this means 2x is there i mean to say 2x is there okay therefore x plus x plus x which is 3x is there right and uh, if i take x into x which we call x square is also there so uh, if x square is there 3x is there this is an ideal so it must be close with respect to addition so this means x square plus 3x must also be there then uh, if i take x cube inside this x cube is also in this ideal this means that x cube plus x square plus 2x will also be an element of this ideal so these are and you can make n number of such com uh, thing combinations and you will get all the elements of this ideal okay now the question is that is x square plus 3 
an element of this ideal do you think i will get x square plus 3 as an element of this ideal now if you look at care look this carefully if in every member of this set x has to be there okay x must be there as a as an addendum as as a whole it should be there or if it is in the sum each term must contain an x you will never get a constant in this ideal so x square is in the ideal yes okay but 3 is not in the ideal you will never get 3 so x square plus 3 will also not be a part of this particular ideal okay what am i trying to focus on is if i take any polynomial which is x square plus 3x plus x cube plus 5 is this an element of this ideal this is in the ideal this is in the ideal this is in the ideal but this is not in the ideal right so this means that this ideal that we have written x ideal generated by x this is what this is collection of which type of polynomials i'm trying to tell you it is collection of all polynomials okay without constant term in which the constant term is absent so this is the ideal i which is generated by what which is generated by single element x f is a field then every ideal in fx is principal every ideal in fx will become a principal ideal okay and so now this means that uh, if i'm working in rx if i'm working in rx okay and if i take any ideal if i take any ideal in rx okay then that ideal is going to be what that ideal will be generated by some single element that some single element will be some polynomial okay so if you're working in qx and you are taking any ideal i then again that ideal will also be generated by what it will be generated by some single element okay there won't be two elements at all right let me write an important theorem now the polynomial px is irreducible over f if and only if the ideal generated by px is maxwell okay so this theorem will be again a very important theorem what is the use of this theorem if you read it carefully you will understand that i will take a polynomial and i will check whether it is an irreducible polynomial we know now some criteria to check irreducible polynomials right M means can i find the roots can i factorize it and so on right so i will first check whether the polynomial is is reducible or irreducible if it is irreducible then that the ideal formed because of that type of polynomial will always become which type of ideal it will become a maximal ideal what is the best example of this you just take a polynomial px suppose i'm taking px is equal to x square plus one this polynomial i'm taking it in what in rx is this polynomial reducible or irreducible you know x square plus one cannot be factorized into two different polynomials with real coefficients because you get complex numbers there right so this polynomial is what this is irreducible in rx and therefore by the virtue of the above theorem what can i say is that the ideal generated by what the ideal generated by this particular polynomial x square plus one this ideal will be which type of ideal it will be a maximal ideal so this is a one of the very good ways to check whether an ideal is maximal or not right 
so if i take one more example suppose let me write in ideal i which is equal to what which is x cube plus one okay is it maximal is it maximal in rx okay this type of question can be easily tackled so what i will do i have to check whether this polynomial is maximal or not so what is the previous theorem telling me previous theorem is telling me that if this polynomial px and the ideal generated by that px is maximal then it is equivalent to check that is the polynomial irreducible over that set just check that so i will do what if i want to check whether it's maximal i will look at the polynomial px which is x cube plus one in what in rx can i reduce this polynomial is this polynomial reducible or i cannot reduce this polynomial but it is ultimately you will find that this x cube plus one can be factorized as was x square minus x plus one into x plus one right so this uh, this polynomial could be factorized and both the factors are in rx there is no complex factor over here right enough with two factors we don't need more factors at you if you get even two factors it is simply reducible so this means that px is what px is reducible in rx and therefore by the above theorem what does the above theorem say that if it is irreducible if it is irreducible then the ideal is maximal so i got the polynomial is reducible and therefore this means that the ideal generated by the polynomial px means the ideal generated by x cube plus one is not maximal ideal 